Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. My name is Dave Simons. First of all, I wanna say thank you so much for getting me past the 100 subscriber mark. I did not picture getting past that with the one wheel video. As I said, that was a different kind of video for me. I'm not a one wheel channel in particular, but I will try to tie that in more often. And I'm certainly going to be using the one wheel for filmmaking. So today I wanted to talk about a freelance job that called for one of these. This is a Canon C70. And not only did it call for one of these, it called for two of these. I rented the 15 to 35 millimeter RF lens, the 70 to 200 RF. I'm gonna compare them with the 70 to 200 millimeter Mark III EF lens with the adapter. I also got the RF to EF adapter. I'm excited to try all this stuff out for you guys, test it side by side. Let's get after it. So as you can see, this is a big boy. Like, you don't wanna vlog with this. I guess you could. I guess you could, let's see. Then again, this is a 70 to 200 millimeter lens. Not ideal for any sort of vlogging. I gotta say, I do love that one touch autofocus and the button is right there next to the record button. So that is super handy. I gotta say, I'm pretty amazed how well this transitions from 0.5 to 2.0 exposure in Lumetri Color. It just looks so seamless because this is what it looks like when I keep the exposure constant at 0.5 stops. It's obviously way too dark. It's amazing because on my 1DX Mark II, I wouldn't even consider bumping it up that high because it would introduce noise. So on this RF 7200 millimeter lens, there are three stabilizer modes. I'm using number two right now. None of which are meant for video. One thing I am really excited about is that I made a custom Lumetri preset for my 1DX Mark II using C-Log3, and slapping that thing on the C70 footage seems to work great. So even though I just needed the gear for a Sunday, I had the cameras and lenses for three days because that was the shortest rental period available through lensrentals.com. I also had a wedding photo shoot on Saturday and I keep up a full-time marketing video job as well, so I didn't have nearly enough time to test out these cameras the way I wanted to using the Sennheiser MKE 600 on top of this, just for some natural sound. All right, so now on to why I actually rented these cameras. So earlier this year, I was hired to shoot some marketing photos for an eco-friendly coatings company. And after they enjoyed the results, um, they asked me to do a TEDx event for five speakers. I said, without a doubt, my friend Zach and I can knock this out of the park. And being someone who loves to research cameras, I knew exactly what to order. I had been eyeing the C70 for a while because of its ability to shoot 4K, 10-bit, 422 footage with a codec that's not too demanding on your computer. And all that's just a really fancy way of saying it shoots really high quality video and it's not too hard to edit. The fact that it has built-in ND filters up to 10 stops in the extended mode, it has two mini XLR ports, and it has 16 stops of dynamic range in C-Log2 mode, that makes it almost the perfect compact cinema camera in my eyes. Beyond that, it's able to become a full frame cinema camera with the 0.71X mount and the EF lenses I already own. The reason I'd rented them for a TEDx event in particular though is because I knew I could get amazing results using the standard Rec. 709 profile and have it match really nicely with my 1DX Mark II's neutral profile. In this case, the client preferred to do the editing, so I wanted to help streamline their workflow and capture a great image straight out of camera. And LensRentals.com was the only place I could find that was able to rent me two cinema cameras as new as the C70, along with accessories like the 0.71X RF to EF adapter, the super fast V90 SD cards, and even the mini XLR adapters for my professional microphones. Not only that, but it came in one giant but organized Pelican case. By the way, this video is in no way sponsored by LensRentals.com or anyone else for that matter, but I was so impressed with their selection and rental experience that I just had to give them a shout out. The best part was I received a glowing text message from the client the other day expressing how happy all parties involved were, and that just meant so much to me as a video creator. If you'd like to check out all the speakers' videos, I've linked them below. Thanks so much for watching till the end. If you're still here, please drop a like on this bad boy, and I will see you in the next one.